Hey, what's up? Uh, in this next video, we are still finding the constant of integration, right? And here we are having a function. Okay, we need to find f of x. If f prime, I mean a derivative, uh, equals to 3x to the 2 plus 4, and p is a point on f of x. I mean, this is actually the same thing uh, like if you are you you, you have written um, f of x. Um, f of 1 equals to 3 this means the same thing okay so no worry about that no need to worry so now we will first integrate uh, take an integrate <coughs> of uh, f prime and each integrate will be um, of 3x to the 2 plus 4 okay dx right and that's gonna give us if we take the integrate um just me huh? take the integral um that will be here six x to the no not six i mean we are keeping three and integrating x to the two that would be x to the power of three over three of course the new power plus four x okay plus four x and plus c so this is going to give me if i just cancel out the three here to cancel out and then i have uh, x to the power three plus four x plus c all right and now we know that this is actually f of x once we take the we take the integral integral we have the f of x and now we will replace the value of one in in of oh, let me take it is three you know zero three okay we will replace the value of x here in there and that the whole thing equal to three to find the value of c so then we will say that three equals to one to the third plus four times one plus c so and um, this year equals five. Then we can say minus five on this side here, and minus five over there, and we will definitely have c equals to minus two. Okay, and then we can rewrite our function, original function, this way. F of x equals therefore. Uh, to uh, what is that? Okay, here, x to the three plus four x minus two, and this is here our original function. Okay, so we're gonna take another example if you write here. Okay, so in the other example we have dy over dx. I mean the slope equals to one over x and with f passes through f passes through uh, uh let me just you know, write everything the f passes through the point p with 2e and 4. okay so we need to find the constant of integration right here so first of all we're gonna <clears throat> integrate we're gonna just uh, rearrange everything saying that dy equals to one times dx so one um one over x dx all right so we just pass this dx over there right and we can integrate them both integrating here and integrating here um here sorry um where is it okay all right and integrating this one here will give me y and that one so the integration of uh, 1 over x is the natural log of x okay but plus a constant of integration which is uh, an arbitrary, arbitrary constant number all right so this is what we have in here and because we know that these values could be um but we know that if you're having the, the, the log here our value needs to be positive so we're using the absolute value of x to make it positive okay 
Now we're going to replace p in this function right here. Y is 4, so we're going to say 4 equals to ln. Naturally, know that logarithm of uh, then we got 2e here. Okay. Plus c. Right. And we can turn in the other side saying that our uh, this is equal to we can apply the the the, the log here, you know, so condition here or law here by saying that 4 equals to the log or the ln of 2 plus ln of e and then plus c all right so this is one of the particularity of uh, the logarithm okay the we're gonna have here um c we passes everything here at the other side we're gonna have uh four minus ln of one and of an e is one this is one and there will be ln of um, 2 n of 2 okay minus 1 equals to c okay and here we'll be having c equals to um, 4 3 minus the ln the logarithm of of 2 okay that's c so we can put it back plug it back in the front in our function right here then we will say that y equals to the natural logarithm of x plus 3 minus natural logarithm of 2 and that's our original function okay so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching again see you later bye bye